All right, guys, our Saturday running clock workout, our first workout of the new year. Uh, we're gonna start off with some snatching. So this is gonna be 10 minutes for part one. And it's gonna be a power snatch from the ground. So mid shin, big drive, power snatch, stand up, and you're gonna catch it back in the hang, and then hang power snatch. All right, and then you can drop the bar. So uh, 10 minutes, as many reps as you wanna perform here, build up to your heavy for the day. So power snatch from the floor, right into a hang power snatch. That's it, add weight as you go. For those that are brand new, uh, we always uh, prioritize getting hip contact. So when I pull the bar off the floor, you wanna get the bar all the way up to the hip, boom, catch, okay? And if you're struggling to feel that contact, we just have people start from the hang. So for those that are new to this movement, uh, just perform both reps from the hang, okay? Learning how to get that contact. It's kind of weird if you're not used to it. You have to use your lats, okay? Chest is up, hips come back. You notice this little space between my body and the bar. And as I explode up, that's where that contact occurs, okay? So you can take your time with how high you pull the bar, all right? As you get better, you'll start lowering the bar down closer to the knee, eventually being able to get that contact from the floor. So uh, anyone that has any issues with snatching, feel free to do cleans for this drill today as well. All right, let's talk about part two. We'll get a three minute rest and then we'll go into part two. All right guys, we're gonna get a three minute rest after the snatch portion and then we're gonna go into this muscle up sandwich. The idea is we're gonna start with 90 double unders, 70 wall balls, and then do something for ring muscle ups. The prescribed is 20 for guys, 15 for women. This is ring muscle ups. And then we're gonna go back the same way. 70 wall balls, 90 double unders, right? You have 17 minutes to get through this. So let's talk about the double under and wall balls, and then we'll go through all the variations for the ring muscle ups, all right? So double unders, um, second time we've done them this week. So always focus on nice tall chest. All right, starting with that single position, my elbows are back, using my wrist to turn the rope, okay? So you can maybe do double the number of singles if you want, okay? But we love to have people practice doubles. So as soon as the single feels good, try to work in that double, all right? And just keep the singles going. So if you do something like that, do less doubles, okay? Because none of those singles count. And maybe do half the reps or something like that. Uh, you can also think about how long this would take an athlete. So this, you shouldn't be on the double unders longer than two minutes, right? That would be a pretty long time. Some of the best athletes are gonna do this in one big unbroken set. So maybe just practice for two minutes, that's totally fine as well. All right, from there we're gonna go to the medicine ball for our wall balls. For our wall balls, we always say this, the priority is the squat, okay? You can adjust how high you throw the ball or the weight of the ball, but make sure you get a good squat every single time, all right? So when we set up for this, we wanna pick our target, all right, keep your eyes and chest up the entire time. My arms are underneath the weight supporting, drive up from the legs, hit the target, and try to catch it right back into your squat, okay? Um, I always talk about keeping the eyes and chest up the whole time. A common fault when people catch the ball is they'll let their chest drop, and then the hips are high, we're missing that squat, and it's hard to hold the ball here, okay? So really focus on keeping your eyes up on the target, and that'll help you keep a good squat position. You got 70 to do, two times, so 140 total wall balls. This will be really tiring. Be strategic, break these up a little bit, okay? Because the muscle up sandwich, they've got those ring muscle ups in the middle. So again, we like to see people practicing on the rings. Uh, of course, you can sub bar muscle ups if you'd like. Um, for those that do not have ring muscle ups yet, what we're gonna do is some version of chest to bar pull ups plus dips, right? So you can use a band for your chest to bar pull ups, and then you can do bench dips, or ring dips as well, okay? Um, a variation I always tell people to try if there's room or space in class is to set up jumping uh, ring muscle ups. This allows you to do the dip all on your own. If it was like to catch your weight, right? And then from here I could finish on my own and I get to feel that transition of my wrist rotating over and catching my body weight in that unstable ring environment, okay? Um, and so, again, pick something that you're comfortable doing. Try to beat the time cap here. And uh, that is our middle portion. After this, at minute 30, uh, we're gonna get a three minute rest. And the final push is gonna be cals on the bike or any machine of your choice. 75 cals for guys, 50 for the ladies, just to finish off. And that's our running clock Saturday. So we'll see you tomorrow.